The second beta update of One UI 8.0 is finally here for the Galaxy S25 series, and it brings some solid improvements and fixes. Samsung has just rolled out the Android 16-based One UI 8 Beta 2 to users in South Korea, Germany, Poland, and the UK. If you own a Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, or S25 Ultra in these regions, you can now try out the latest beta software. The update carries the firmware version ending in ZYF3 and has a download size of approximately 1.23 GB art. Now, let's break down everything that's new and improved in this update performance and bug fixes. This update mainly focuses on ironing, out bugs, and improving the overall experience. Samsung has clearly been listening to user feedback, and that's reflected in the number of issues fixed in this beta. For example, one of the annoying bugs in the now brief feature, where text, alignment was off, has been resolved. Also, if you ever notice the morning briefing screen sticking around longer than necessary, that's now fixed too. Fingerprint issues have also been a common complaint in the first beta. Some users reported random failures during fingerprint, recognition and problems with unlocking the phone. These bugs have now been addressed. Even the secure folder where some files couldn't be moved properly has received a fix. Bluetooth and sound fixes. There were also a few sound-related issues. In the previous beta, during Bluetooth calls in vehicles, the volume would unexpectedly drop. That's now fixed. Another sound bug where users wouldn't hear notification sounds, while gaming has also been taken care of. So, if you're a mobile gamer, this fix will definitely improve your gaming experience. No more silent alerts while you're deep into a game. Galaxy AI and UI enhancements. The update also tackles some Galaxy AI-related bugs. For example, certain AI-powered wallpapers that display weather and time weren't functioning as expected. Those are now fixed, and you should start seeing proper updates on your dynamic wallpapers again. Samsung has also added a new user feedback feature to help improve the interpreter performance. This feature allows the system to learn and respond better over time, making your real-time translation experiences more reliable. Lock screen and widget improvements. One small but noticeable issue was with the lock screen widgets. The widget size would increase randomly, which made the screen look unpolished. That's been fixed. The battery widget icon has also been improved visually, making it easier to check your battery level at a glance. And if you're someone who uses the Air Command feature with the S Pen, you'll be glad to know that the disappearing Air Command icon bug has been resolved. Now when you detach the S Pen, the icon will appear like it's supposed to. Gestures and navigation. Another annoying. Bug was with gesture navigation. When gestures were enabled, some users couldn't go back using the swipe gesture. That bug has been fixed, which should make navigation feel much smoother and more consistent. Also, there was an issue where alarm sounds wouldn't ring if the clock app wasn't updated after installing the beta. That's been resolved, too, ensuring you don't miss any important wake-up calls or reminders. App stability and system enhancements, Samsung has rolled out stabilization updates to a number of apps, including the camera app. This means fewer crashes, better reliability, and possibly even smoother performance while taking photos or videos. Overall, the second beta update doesn't add a huge number of flashy new features, but it brings over a dozen important fixes that improve everyday use. Think of it as Samsung fine-tuning the engine under the hood before the official launch of One UI 8.0. This update may not bring a major visual overhaul, but it focuses on what really matters, a smoother and more stable experience. Samsung is clearly preparing the Galaxy S25 series for a rock-solid Android 16-based update, and this second beta is a big step forward. If you're part of the beta program in any of the supported countries, go ahead and download the update. And if you haven't joined the beta yet, it might be worth keeping an eye out in case it rolls out to more regions soon. Stay tuned for more updates as Samsung gets closer to releasing the stable version of One UI 8.0.